I need uh, two cheeseburgers with everything except onions. So I have two cheeseburgers, no onion, a medium fry, a hamburger, no onion, a large Coke, large corn pate, and ten pizzas with sweet and sour sauce. Is this correct? Dad, I think you made a wrong turn. Oh, the sign said take right, and I'm right. Uh, Cooper, that's that's inconvenient. I don't think we're at the right place. Yes, that is a 24-row planner sticking straight up in the air. Oh man, I was on the wrong side of it. We need to be on the red side. I wonder how many hours are on this tractor. You think they'd sell that? The planner? The whole thing. That's right, guys. We are down here at Kinsey Manufacturing today. We got invited to come do a tour. I'm really excited about this because they do a lot of really fancy stuff here. And I like to take stuff that I learn at these big places and bring it back to our farm so that we can incorporate it. Okay, now we just need to figure out where to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you get new shoes? Dang right, I did. Holy yeah, they already got their Christmas tree up. Geez, Dad, you took us to the wrong building. That's just the way it works on our place. I didn't realize I was getting a jog in today. This is the most exercise Cooper's gotten in months. No, about a year. About a year. There's trouble. I think we're in the right place now. Is there anything you don't we don't want filmed or anything? You just tell us on the way or something so we don't... Well, they told me not to film you because they didn't want to ruin the shots, but... It's all about the ratings, so you probably better put me on. There may be some parts of the plant tour that they don't want you to film. I was talking with John Deere and they wanted me to film so that way they could... Is that right? <laughs> I got something for Dad. Your breath smells bad. I hope not. So go ahead and take a seat wherever. Holy cow, you have a whole theater in here. Where are you sitting, Cole? It's always important to understand how you stack up against the competition. Did you cry? Cry. <laughs> I thought you wiped some tears. Dad, they got Mountain Dew. All right. You having fun? Oh, yeah. I didn't do my makeup. Is that okay? <laughs> that is all our planning with our planner this year, our, our center fill. Um, we have dunk force. And when I was full, it was put more force down on the middle six rows. So what Kinsey's kind of helped done, and we, we brought it out in 2009, is weight transfer. It helps eliminate that. No one else take that weight off. You having fun? I am. I am. We got Pam giving us a tour now, and we told her she needs to keep pushing us along, otherwise we're going to sit and talk forever. This is a replica of his very first building. He fit a 24-row planner in here. Think these would fit on my Geo? I don't know. That, that, that lathe would take up a lot of room in the shop. I think we need to take this tractor home. The planting tractor. A lot of you guys are always asking me what a bushel is. These little bowls up here are actually a bushel a piece and there's 435 of them up there which is the capacity of this grain cart which is the first grain cart that Kenzie ever made. It's got two Detroit diesel engines. Holy cow this thing does have two engines. One in the front and one in the front. You ever drive it? I've never driven it just watched and helped him pull it in. So technically this is a 640 horsepower tractor. Yes 640 horsepower. Comparable to my Geo. This just gets worse gas mileage. Your arms ever get tired carrying that around? These arms? It is used as a storm shelter. My head is hitting the ceiling. Boogity, 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 boys! Hey, if you go fast enough, can you do a full loop around the tunnel? Right now, it feels like we're going down the uh, sewer tunnel. I like this place. Everybody waves. And those two are getting yelled at for sitting side by side. Come on, Zach. There are those Kelderman airbags? I don't think so. I, I don't remember what they are for sure. I'm just blown away how there's literally nothing out of place in here. You ready? He's gonna honk. <laughs> do a burnout! All right, Coop, we're getting into the welders. Don't look at the light. Oh, I looked at the light. So hard not to. Run him over. How many forklifts do you think are in here? Like a hundred, maybe more. There you go, Coop. Let's load up while we're here. Could use some. That is a chunk of steel right there. That could be your deadlift bar in the shop. You know, it's cool of a go-kart track they could make in here. Dude, imagine having a shop big enough where you need a go-kart to get around. Hey, Coop, what do you think we could cut with that? The GO. I'll give you a dollar if you stick your finger in there. Of course, right when we go around the corner, it starts cutting. So far, we've been driving around for like 15 minutes. This building is absolutely huge. It's the most organized thing I've ever seen in my life. Imagine cleaning the shop. If we had Daddy Cornstar in here year round, what would it look like? That's a million dollar machine right there. That probably is too. Hey Jim, Bob, sneak by you guys. We make 85% of what's on a plant or a grain cart. What we do not make is rubber, plastic, fiberglass, and cast. Ooh, he's boogieing. It's kind of interesting. These ones are being crated up because they're going to be shipped across the ocean. Look at all those planters. Hey, why isn't that guy watching Cole the Corn Star? Hey, they got it right with the case tractor. The cow's bigger than the tractor. Oh, they're making six inch augers over here? Yeah. Boogity, 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 boys. Give her the beans. Come on, run them over. Uh oh, we're going back into the tunnel. Hold your breath. All right, bud, tight fit. <laughs> Well, what'd you think? First time, it was good. When you yeah. found out we were coming today, were you happy or were you sad? Happy, I guess I was gonna offer Casey's pizza. 
for you for lunch, but I figured you guys are probably tired of Casey's Pizza. Tired. Never that or Heinz ketchup. Never enough. <laughs> Holy cow. You're famous. Ta-da. You remember how all these people come up to you and say, are they better looking in real life or on the video? Video. Guess I need to go get my pit vipers. Got a four mile run ahead of me. We gotta go all the way up there. They said that when they built this building, they built it themselves. Who does that? Oh, it stinks like McDonald's in here. You know, if this was full of snow, this would be a pretty good place to do some donuts. Look at all those green carts. That is so cool. I better look where I'm going so I don't run into anything. I got locked out. What is this? You locked the door on me. I did. Man, when I shut the van door, I got shocked. Hey, where'd you find that? Hey. Cooper, I found your shirt. Oh, you got on to dad. I like it. Hey, Coop, you find stuff okay? It's a little big, but I think it'll do. All right, now we got our professional interview here. I've been practicing my words. Okay, cool. Who are you and what are we doing today? I'm Cole the Corn Star, and we're here today to tour Kenzie. I'm hoping that I can maybe pick up a thing or two going around the operation, looking at what we can bring back to our farm. But also, I just want to see how this stuff's made. Uh, what are your first impressions of Kenzie? I can't believe how organized and clean it is around here. For as big as this place is, I didn't see a single thing out of place, and that just blows my mind. We can't even keep our 50 by 100 shop clean. What did you know about Kinsey before you came here? I knew you had blue equipment. Tell me a little bit about you and tell me a little bit about how you, how and why you started your YouTube channel. So I'm a 23 year old farmer. I live in central Iowa and I guess we're kind of known all around the world for making farming videos on YouTube now. Two years ago, I decided to pick up a video camera and start making videos to help promote agriculture and show what actually goes on behind the scenes on the farm. So I break down everything from the financials of farming to the workings of farming to the families behind farming to show that we're actually real people and not just corporate farms that are out there farming for just a profit. So what was your favorite part of the day? Uh, leaving for sure. <laughs> <It's about that laughs> time. Definitely seeing how the factory ran. I'm a big numbers guy and I'm a big efficiency guy. So going through the factory and just seeing how everything has a purpose, it was just really satisfying to me and I enjoyed that because I did find a couple things along the way that I would like to bring back to our operation. And so I'm hoping that can help take us a step forward on our farm. What was your impressions of the museum? I mean, everyone likes a good success story. So when I'm able to go through there, I can see where he started at the base and everything he built in that little shop and just how it's evolved. To me, that's just so motivating because I see someone who just pulled himself up by the bootstraps and never gave up. Kind of looking at this building here, the future shop that Cole is going to build us. Hey Zach, this is part of the free stuff, right? What are you laughing for, Brad? We are hitting the road, guys. I didn't think we were ever going to get out of here. 